one of the fastest ways that you can grade is to grade digitally. So I'm going to show you how you can use Google Forms to create a digital version of a Scantron or a bubble sheet or anything like that where the students already have the printed copy in front of them that they can work on and literally they're just putting their answers online so that they can be graded automatically. So it's super easy. You don't have to type in questions or answer choices. You literally just type in the question number and a, B, C, or D, and set the computer to know what the right choice is, and then you're ready to share it with your students, and you won't have to grade it. So that's the best part. So the first thing you want to do is go into your URL and type in forms.google.com, okay? And now you're going to create a blank one just by clicking there. So you can title it here, and the first thing you want to do is add a question that is or the student's name so that you know for sure who is taking the quiz. And you can click required so that they have to put their name. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is tell Google Forms that this is going to be a gradable quiz. So I'm gonna click the gear icon for the settings and go over to the tab that says quizzes. And then all I have to do is change it to make this a quiz. There are a few options you can look at and change if you want. So I'm gonna just click save, and now it's time to create the answer key. So I'm gonna add a new question by clicking this plus sign, and I'm just going to name it number one to go with question number one. So this is a multiple choice question, so I'm just going to make it A, and it gives you a shortcut where you can just add all A, B, C, and D. And that's all you have to do except for tell the computer what the right answer is. So I'm clicked answer key and I'm gonna click the correct answer and then done. And that's it. So now I'm gonna do the same thing for number two, except for I've already done one so I can duplicate it. So I'm gonna click this button that says duplicate. I'm gonna change it to number two. And then I'm gonna scroll down here again to where it says answer key, click there, change it to the correct answer and then click done. Okay, and I'll show you one more time. Just click duplicate, change it to number three this time, scroll down to answer key, which you click, and change it to the correct answer for number three. You can also add short answer if you're doing a math problem and they need to type in the actual answer. Just click add a new question, and instead of it being multiple choice, you can make it short answer. And so, let's say number four, is a, an addition problem. You can change the answer key and you can actually type in whatever the correct answer is, okay? So you continue building your digital Scantron in this way until you're finished. And then when you're ready to share with the students, you don't actually share this URL, or if you do, you'll be giving them permission to change the creation of the, the um, Scantron. So what instead you're going to do is click this icon of the eye, the preview, and this is the URL that you're going to share with them. So I copy this URL and I can paste it into an email or a Google form. I can write it on the board. However you want your students to access this email is what they're going to use to actually take the quiz. So I'm going to just put it in a new tab and you can see what the students will see. It is literally just an answer document where they will do their work on their desk with their actual paper and put in their answers and then they just press submit. So they can see their score. So um, yeah, I got a zero. And also you can view their score from the original um, area where you were creating it. And right up here now we see that there is one response. So you can see this response. So a lot of people know to use Google Forms, but not everyone knows that you can use it as a straight answer document so that you can create one super fast and easy. In fact, you can create one in less than five minutes. So let this be one trick for you to cut down on all that time you're spending grading. So good luck.